Hi viewers, welcome to my channel. I am Sanappa. Okay, so this video we are going to discuss uh, about a uh, airflow fail in air and in unit in HVAC system. Okay, so we will see what is airflow fail interlock in air and in unit in HVAC system. Okay. We'll see. So before going to the HVAC system, we will see how this air handling unit is working. Okay. So this air handling unit AHU. Okay. AH air handling unit has two major parts. Okay. One is blower side and another is cooling system side. Okay. So here we have a diagram. Okay. So this is complete AHU system, air handling unit system. Okay. This system has two parts. Okay. As I told. <coughs> blower side another is cooling side okay now we will see basically how it is working okay before going to the topic okay so this blower is connected with the electric motor okay this electric motor and the blower is coupled through the belt okay and this uh, blower uh, is connected with one air inlet where the uh, fresh air will be sucked and it will flow uh, through through the duct okay this is duct so that air will be passed through the cooling coils okay so this is cooling system this cooling coils will be uh, circulated by any uh, cooling water uh, chilled cooling water or uh, cooled gases okay so this is depend upon the cooling system okay and after that when this air is uh, passes through this cooling coil the uh, <coughs> temperature will be observed that means the cooling will be observed by the air and it will be uh, formed with uh, cooling uh, <coughs> that will throw through the or it will pass uh, to the mall or whatever the area it is consuming okay so this is how basically the AH air handling system is working okay now as I told the blower is working through the electric motor okay so this uh, air is uh, sucking from outside it is passing through this cooling coil okay now <coughs> This uh, belt is cut or uh, due to any mechanical reason, this is broken, okay. So air is not throwing, then what will happen? Still the cooling uh, coils will be uh, <coughs> cooled by this uh, cooling gas or water. After uh, certain time, the air is not passed through, that means the cooling is not absorbed in certain time. What will happen? Due to over temperature, there will be ice formed in this cooling system, okay. To avoid this... Um, problem uh, so we will use this airflow fail interlock system okay so we will see this airflow system interlock how it is working okay so as i told first in ahu system the blower will be started okay the blower will be started once this blower started then <coughs> the supply will be given to the solar coil where this uh, cooling gas or cooling uh, water will be circulated through this um, cooling coils okay so now this electrical motor is already <coughs> there is a electrical signal is taken from this uh, electrical circuit okay then as i told when there is a belt cut or due to any mechanical jump so we won't come to know that whether the blower is working or not okay so that the time we want to monitor the airflow okay so if the airflow is not there then the, there will be a problem in the cooling system so what will uh, what we have to do what we are doing basically so we will install a differential pressure switch on this um, duct okay so this pressure switch will be connected uh, <coughs> with electrically as well as uh, through the air inlet also okay so uh, this uh, di differential pressure switch will be installed on the duct and then a small air inlet will be given to the dk switch okay so that small air uh, will pass through the micro switch which will be in the uh, inside the dp switch okay so the dp switch will react and it will give the signal to this control panel that means the control panel will come to know that there, there is a air flow okay so once this blower started once this motor started through this motor the blower will be <coughs> rotating uh, due to rotating there will be air will flow through this duct uh, so through the duct the dp switch will observe the small air flow 
that will give the signal to the control panel so <coughs> by this system we will come to know that blower is working that means air is flowing through this cooling coils okay so when there is any electrical trip or any mechanical jam so the blower will not throw the air through the duct okay so that means dp switch will not absorb any air flow through the micro switch then this will give signal to the control panel the control panel will come to know that uh, the air uh, <laughs> H, that means the blower is not working so that the what will happen after after this control panel will stop the motor as well as the it will close the solar coil which will um, control the cooling water or cooling gas through this cooling coils okay that means the ac will be completely stopped and there will be a <coughs> indication on the control panel that means air flow fail okay when this uh, this feedback may be given to bms or any monitoring system then the maintenance people will come and they will check if any problem they will solve and they will research the system okay so this is how air flow fail interlock is working in a2 air and unit system this is a very important uh, interlock or control system in the hvac okay so i hope i explained the maximum um, about this um, air flow fail interlock and how it is working and how the ac system the ah system is working okay so thanks for watching if you want to know more no more <coughs> or if you want to learn more please do subscribe and also watch my previous videos posted okay i will see you in next video then <coughs> bye from senapa